I'm Joanne Ozug of 15spatulas.com and I'm going to show you how to make my cheddar scallion biscuits. These biscuits, they're so good. They're crisp in the edges, but they're tender and flaky and soft in the middle. And when you bite into them, you get the gooey bits of cheddar cheese. Really good. There's no fancy machinery required. Super easy to do. Let me show you how to do it. In my bowl, I've got some flour, some baking powder, baking soda, and a little bit of salt and sugar. You can get all the exact amounts on my blog. And I'm just going to whisk that to combine and add four tablespoons of cold, diced, unsalted butter. And just like with puff pastry or pie crust, the key to getting something flaky is to make sure you use cold butter. And I'm just going to start working this with my fingertips until we get about pea-sized crumbs. And the goal here is to get these little pieces of butter coated with that flour mixture. And the most important thing when you're making biscuits is to use a really light hand. Something I read a long time ago that's just kind of stuck with me is to pretend you have arthritis. And I know that sounds absolutely ridiculous, but it's just kind of a good reminder, you know, to be nice and gentle with your biscuits. Okay, that looks good. I've got about pea-sized crumbs in here. So I'm going to add three ounces of grated cheddar cheese and two chopped scallions to this. I'm just gonna give that a little toss to distribute it. All right, I'm gonna make a little well in the center and add half a cup of whole buttermilk. So I'm going to start moving this around and you want to think of this as distributing the liquid as opposed to stirring because once this buttermilk is kind of evenly dispersed throughout, you want to stop stirring because any extra stirring you do is going to develop excess gluten and that's going to make your biscuits tough, which, you know, no one wants hockey puck biscuits. <laughs> okay, that looks great. It's going to be a really wet, sticky dough. Now it's time for my favorite part of the biscuit making, which is to flour the countertop. I love doing that. It's so fun. It's just a little, you know, mini sieve. So I'm going to dump out my biscuit mixture. And I'm going to flour the top just a little bit so my fingers don't stick to it and basically pat it out into about an inch, inch and a half thick. That looks good. You take my little biscuit cutter and start cutting out my biscuits. That goes onto my baking sheet and I'm going to finish cutting these out and when they're ready I'm going to pop them into a 450 degree oven until they're puffed up and golden brown. All right, so I just turned off my oven. These have been, oh, they've been in for 10 minutes and they're so puffed and beautiful. <laughs> okay, which one do I want? Look how golden brown that is in the bottom. That's the crispiness I'm talking about. Oh my gosh, that is a biscuit cloud. That is so soft and flaky and light in the middle. Mm. And got a slight onion flavor from the scallions and the gooey cheddar cheese. So good. You gotta try making these, seriously, they're so easy. You can find this recipe on my food blog, 15spatulas.com. I'm Joanne Ozug, thank you so much for watching and I'll be back soon with another scrape-worthy recipe.